What comes to your mind when you hear the term radio jockey, a person speaking on a mic? A very different kind of a mic. I'm Albina Abbas, Dean at School of Journalism and Mass Communication, and I'm going to tell you about different kind of microphones that are being used or have been used in the past in the radio industry. One of the best inventions of modern science is the microphone. There are many different types of these little wonders, each crafted for a specific purpose. Some are designed for musical instruments, others for vocals and others are multi-purpose. A microphone is a relatively simple device. You speak into it and it picks up the sound and puts it out through a speaker. However, microphones have a long winding history both in and out of radio station studios. Today, we are going to discuss about six types of microphones. Dynamic, capacitor, electret, carbon, ribbon and crystal. Let's first talk about dynamic microphones. Dynamic mics are used in musical performances and these are the most recognizable type of microphones. They are the handheld models used by singers on stage. You must have seen so many singers using these kind of mics. In a radio studio, they would most likely be used in the event that a band played a song in the studio. Or if a reporter went out into the field for a news report, he would use the dynamic mic because of its portability. The next kind of mic which we are going to discuss is capacitor or it is also called a condenser mic. Capacitor mics are the classic radio studio mics. One of the oldest types of microphones is the capacitor or the condenser microphone. These are the microphones that come to mind when thinking of a radio studio. The RJ talks into the microphone that is being held by a long arm-like contraption. Capacitor microphones are good for quiet settings, which is why they are the most commonly used microphones in radio studios. They are generally more efficient, but also very much expensive than dynamic mics. The next category of microphones which we are going to discuss today is electric. Electric microphones are small and portable, and these are a type of capacitor microphones. They are much smaller than their capacitor counterparts and are a bit cheaper. Because of their lower quality sound, they haven't had much popularity with radio stations, as many stations have opted to spend a little extra for the better technology of capacitor mic. The next category of microphones is carbon microphones. Carbon mics are little used in radio studios. The carbon microphone conjures up images of old jazz joints with the singer belting a song into the big silver metal mic. You may also recognize carbon mics as the microphones that are lowered from the ceiling to the man standing in the middle of a boxing ring waiting to announce the participants. Popular in radio stations during the early 20th century, technology surpassed the carbon mic and has made it mostly obsolete despite its classic look. Next, we are going to talk about ribbon microphones. Ribbon mics were used in the beginning of the 20th century. Ribbon microphones have a very similar look to capacitor mics and are just as old. Very popular with radio stations in the 1920s and 30s where they replaced carbon mics nowadays. Ribbon mics are a type of velocity microphone. They are directional in nature meaning that you must point them towards the sound you're hoping to pick up. Early models were very frail, but newer technology has helped their durability. The last but not the least category is crystal microphone. Crystal mics are little used in professional broadcasting. Back in grade school, if you remember, whenever you heard your principal's voice coming from the speakers above, she was usually speaking into a crystal microphone. Not as durable as other mics, Crystal microphones were perfect for simple applications such as these morning announcements. 
In the 1930s, they were very popular among AM radio operators and other amateur radio stations. So today, we discussed about various types of microphones and I'm sure it will help you in choosing the right microphone whenever you're recording your voice next. I'll be bringing you more such videos very soon. Till then, stay tuned.